5,000 meters. I love the 5,000 meters. How could you not? So it's the Nike women's 5,000 meters, and given the pace that they're requesting, they're putting some pretty good talent on the outside doing pacing duties in a couple of Americans. Absolutely. The pace requested is world record pace, so we will see what the, how far they go. They're hoping to go through 3K at that pace. It's a very difficult pace, so pacing this is a huge effort in of itself. Back in London earlier this year, Beatrice Chabet ran the seventh fastest performance of all time, and she features prominently in this race today. She does, and now we see American Alicia Munson, who broke the American record in this event at 14.19 earlier this year. She has had her eyes on this race all season. She wanted to come here and race here. We might see something special from her. Quick special mention for Tanaka of Tokyo. This is like her 30th race <laughs> of the like year. Every time she's in a race, we're like, this is her 100th race of the year. She loves to race, and it shows. She shows up for everything and runs with a lot of heart every time. And then on the inside, the 17-year-old Berke Hylum of Ethiopia, the world under 20 champion at 1,500 meters last year. 12 and a half laps of this historic oval at Hayward Field. Diamond League championship on the line in the women's 5,000. Racers were not quite ready. Rest of the world watching as well, so timing is always key here as they have a couple of moments of final reflection here. Could it be another attempt at a world record? Saw that yesterday in the men's Bowerman Mile. Now the Nike women's 5,000 meters is underway. They didn't get that world record. And in hearing Jakob Ingebrigtsen talk about it after the race, he was saying that, you know, there is a wind on that backstretch. And so having pacers in front that can block that as long as possible could be key. How long can Sinclair Johnson and Elise Cranny do it? Well, we're about to find out, but it does make a huge difference. The backstretch is usually where it's a little bit windy. And if you can get someone to block that, when you're going after things like world records in a distance event, everything needs to be perfect. The pacing needs to be perfect. The weather needs to be perfect. When we walked into the stadium earlier, Paul, it was quite gusty. We can look at the flags now, and it has calmed down a little bit, which is very good for these women. So we talked about the pace setters in front. Let's also talk about, for those who maybe didn't watch yesterday, the light you see emanating from the inside rail. This is relatively new tech, but has grown in popularity and is used frequently on the Diamond League. Talk about wave light. Yeah, so this is giving them an indication of what pace they're on. The green lights here right now are on world record pace. The, the Blue lights you see in front are for the pacers because obviously they need to be a little bit ahead of world record pace to continue the momentum for the pack behind them. You know, I wasn't sure of this when it first came out, but I have grown to really appreciate it. It gives all of us watching some context of how the race is unfolding. Yeah, in a couple of cases, it was the lights losing the race to the leader, and we saw that with Faith Kipyugan yesterday in the women's 1500 meters. Speaking of Kipyugan, she is the current world record holder in this event, part of her trio of world record performances over a two-month stanza here this summer. She set the mark in Paris back in June. They went 66 seconds on the first lap as they now have 11 laps to run. You know, my eyes are really focused in on the woman running in fourth place right now. Good off the guy. She was the world champion in 2022 in the 5,000. She just didn't look like herself in Budapest in the 5,000. She won the 10,000, but in the 5,000, she was there with a lap to go, and she just sort of fell apart, and it is eating at her. She wants to come here and end her season on a very high note and remind everyone that she is good at the 5,000 meters. You can hear the crowd encouraging them on. This will be 4,000 meters at 11.16.89 as they stay within at least a shot of the meet record here and potentially, depending on how quick they turn these last couple laps, try to chase down that mark by Kipyugan set earlier this year. And now we see Sagai starting to pull away from Chibet. She wants to open up some distance now. She's really getting back into that racing mindset. And she's starting to close back onto those pace lights. She's fighting on her own now. We see Chibet is starting to fall back. And now it's going to come down to Sagai's will. And now with less than 800 to go, she begins not only to win the race against Chibet, but is now beating the race against the lights. 
This is incredible, Paul. She has had such a long year that was also filled with 10,000 meters. And for her to be running this fast, this late in the year is truly incredible, incredible. And it really shows you how gutsy of an athlete she is. She is such a fierce competitor. She leaves it out there every time she goes 600 to go and the world record's within her sight. Well, we knew how excited Kara was almost witnessing the world record in the mile. What will be the reaction here by her and the rest of this crowd? Everyone in this building realizing what's now unfolding as she comes off the final turn for the penultimate time. This is incredible, Paul. Yesterday we saw that epic mile, but they were two men battling. This is just a guy all heart and soul right now. This is up to her. She's going to make the decision. She only is battling herself. 12.55 at the bell. Needs about a sub-70 to get the record. And look at everybody out on their feet. Paul, we might see the first ever sub-14 minute 5,000, which I never thought I would see as long as I was alive. But she is pulling away from the lights with every step. I can't even describe how historic this is right now. At an event that is named for one of the legends of the sport who redefined his era at distances including 5,000 meters in a year where we saw the first woman under 350 in the 1,500 meters. What are we about to witness here? A hundred meters away. Good Sagai giving it everything she has. She came into this race the fourth fastest all time with a mark set earlier this year of 14-12-29. She just broke the world record, setting a PB by more than 12 seconds in front of a crowd that from the first step of this race, Kara Goucher, knew, understood, helped, and created another chapter in the book of Hayward Magic. Unbelievable. At the 4,000 meter mark, it looked like it was slipping away from her, but she was so determined. And I thought she was making a move just to separate from Chibet. But instead, she was chasing that light and getting herself back on world record pace all by herself with no one pushing her. She couldn't feel anyone. She couldn't hear anyone. She just had to look at those lights and find it from within herself. And not to be lost on it, but Beatrice Chabet runs 14.05.92, almost under the previous world record. And we have been talking about this for the last couple of years, a redefinition in so many events by so many athletes competing at the highest level. And it's not all about equipment. It's about training and being stretched and pushed by the very best in the world and faith put that mark out there earlier this summer and Sagai just said 
five seconds faster. And Your that's, move. That's what it takes, right? Someone doing something that no one thought was possible, and then everyone else rising to that moment. And now we see, look at the stride here, how much she is fighting all the way through. She ran all the way through that line. She left nothing on the table. What an incredible, incredible and gutsy performance. Good look at that last 80 meters on our Xfinity 10G fly cam. Gritting her teeth, but not leaving one ounce of effort behind as she le left the rest of the field behind. Godafa, through your translator, can you just explain to us how you were able to keep this strong pace and make history today with this world record in the 5,000 meters? But I'm fat and I don't know the Alamanch Abatam Nathan Adder Kutmukniatum, Hagarit of Bukoin Ulet Madame at Alubi, but I'm sorry, Chet Ru Aquam Line of Burkuna, Grela Miglizo, but a Grey Mukniat, I'm she, but I'm Saltania de Re, Chinkalati with Latter of Bushan of Burra, Miss Hara Kutna, Yan Lemacasno, Zari, Ricorduni, Daragling Yalku, Turak Amsloham. I was prepared very well for the World Championship to get both medals, but uh, because of my leg, my legs injury, I missed a uh, 5,000 meter in Budapest. I was very angry about that, uh, but I was very prepared. So I came here. I asked uh, for the organizers to make it a World Record best because I knew I was uh, prepared very well. Yes, and she was. Please tell her thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.